The Lumix S5 has made me over a hundred thousand pounds. In fact, I think the actual number is around 115,000 pounds over the two years that I use it as my ACAM for my business. So I thought that'd be a really interesting topic to talk about since the idea of investing in gear to sort of add more profit for your business is of course not a new one, but I want to talk about my experience with that whole sort of idea and how it actually really worked for me and why it could actually work for you as well. By the way, you know, this intro has been filmed in my car because I'm actually on my way to a shoot currently. It's been very busy recently, so I'm very sorry that there's been a lack of content coming out on YouTube at the moment. But we're here, we're doing it now, and let's get into it. I bought the Panasonic S5 in November of 2020, and before that I was using the Sony APS-C lineup of cameras, so that meant that I had the A6300, the A6400, and the A6500. During that time, I'd only really been in business for about two years or so, so I was still like quite new to the sort of freelancer game, if you like, but I started to realize that actually an APS-C camera wasn't cutting it, and also I could only record 8-bit video with all those cameras, and 8-bit just isn't the one anymore, so I knew that when we went into COVID lockdown in 2020 that I did want to think about my next investment for the business and of course that was going to be a new camera body um, and that's where the Panasonic S5 came in because it met all of the criteria that I set out for what I wanted in my next camera. Um, what I wanted was a full frame camera, something that could shoot 4K 10-bit 422 video internally and also something that could shoot raw video as well because I wanted to try and sort of introduce myself to some bigger clients and to some creative agencies as as well and I thought that raw video would be a good way to do that. So back when I was using the Sony cameras my day rate was as follows. So for eight hours of time on site shooting plus two rounds of edits it was £500 for the day. Three months after switching to the Lumix S5 I decided to raise my prices and um, it actually coincided with the end of the tax year here in England so it was April of 2021 um, and I decided to raise my prices from £500 to £650 for the day again with the same amount of hours and the same amount of rounds on the edit too but the reason being was because I was getting booked more and since I was more busy I figured that I should raise my prices and um, the end of the tax year is always a really good time to re you know rethink your pricing structure as well anyway around sort of June July time things just went absolutely crazy for me and it was like the busiest time the business had like ever had so I was pretty much doing like three or four shoots a week and they were pretty decent shoots which meant that I was pretty much flat out in terms of going shooting coming back dropping the footage editing, doing the exact same thing again over and over again. And the reason why my workload increased drastically around that time is simply because I was able to win bigger and better clients, whether that be creative agencies or whether that be actual brands that just have a bigger sort of spend if you like. Um, and that's basically because I was able to propose or give them more value for their money than some of the other people that they had also asked for quotes from in the sense that I was able to produce ProRes raw videos for them if they wanted it and also if they were editing in-house as well I could also you know give them a really good editing codec because the S5 was able to output ProRes and ProRes RAW both of which are very very popular in the editing world and for post-production um, and of course for my stuff that I was editing the 4k internal was fantastic as well so I was using that most of the time but just generally speaking the quality was so much better and it meant that if people were sort of cutting the footage in with you know sort of more expensive cameras like reds and all that sort of stuff the S5 did a really good job at producing really good image quality that would match up with those cameras too. It's also worth mentioning that at that point in time raw video was still very new for that style of camera so not many mirrorless cameras were able to output raw video and I think that the S5 was actually one of the first sort of consumer level mirrorless cameras that could actually do that. Since there was still a high volume of work coming through for the business all the way through to December of 2021 I actually decided that January was going to be the time that I'd raise my prices again and in January of 2021 2022, I raised my prices from £650 for the day to £850 for the day, so a £200 increase. But that's not the only thing that changed. Um, since I was doing so much work, I actually realised that my time was quite, you know, valuable. So I decided to actually cut down on what the day rate included, in the sense that beforehand the day rate included eight hours of on-site time and two rounds of edits, whereas in January of 2022 I changed that so that the £850 day rate got you six 
hours of time on site and then also the same amount of editing anyway. So um, I sort of cut down my time a little bit there and that was actually to make some more time for editing because at that time it was just me and I mean now it is still just me but <laughs> yeah, it was just me. Um, so I was the one filming, editing and all that sort of stuff if it wasn't the client that actually wanted to take on the edit themselves. So yeah, as I said earlier, for the two years where I was using the S5 as my camera exclusively for corporate work, um, the business made around £114,000, which, you know, per year means about £57,000, um, which may seem like a big number to some, it may not to others. But for me, I mean, currently I'm 25 years old and I started the business five years ago, so I started it when I was 20 years old. Um, so yeah, I would say that the S5 was definitely a turning point for the business in, you know, being able to sort of generate that much revenue per year. Of course, I wouldn't be charging what I'm charging currently if I was still using the same cameras. And I feel like with price increases, you need to sort of give that extra value to your clients as well. Um, and that could be in the name of learning a new piece of equipment that is higher end and can produce better results for the work that you're shooting. So it definitely is important. And I sort of want to hone that point home and sort of be like, you know, if you're sort of feeling a bit bad about wanting to upgrade your camera, I mean, of course, unless you've got the latest and greatest thing already, um, realistically, start thinking about how it's going to benefit the business and how it can increase revenue year on year after you purchase it and have that sort of mentality rather than ah damn I don't really want to spend a couple thousand pounds right now so yeah that's sort of the point I'd love to hear in the comments below about the work that you do and where you're sitting currently with your, you know, business investments, what your next goals are and stuff. Um, I really enjoy talking about the business side of things on my channel and I enjoy being transparent with you guys about the numbers, about what I do. So please feel free to ask any questions as well because I'm always happy to answer them. Um, so yeah, and if you haven't already checked out my other videos on the S5 II, the S5-2X and why you should, you know, be using Lumix cameras generally, then definitely go check those out here. And yeah, hopefully I shall see you in the next one.